Oh my gosh, okay, so check this out. I got a Four Ocean water bottle for Christmas. It says Four Ocean on the one side and on the other side. Aurora. Can you not? <laughs> Again. <laughs> and then on the other side it says one pound pulled and I have bought enough from 4ocean that I have all of these little one pound pulled stickers every time you pull a pound with them which can be bracelets I have a ton of their bracelets or different products like I got that cleanup kit from 4ocean for my mom's birthday you get one of these pound pulled stickers and I have so many and this isn't even all of them but I did one round and when I get enough, I'm gonna do another round around the top and then I'm gonna fill in some of this as well. I'm so excited, so this is my new water bottle. Thank you so much to my parents to get me this for Christmas and we're gonna try it out. I feel like I do brand review stuff at 4Ocean all the time. It's just, they're just my favorite, one of my favorite companies, so. All right, let's go try this water bottle. Oh my God, so Aurora had the zoomies and she ran over our love seat, went up to the desk, and then went to jump on our spiral staircase, completely missed it by probably a foot, and just slammed into the ground. I felt so bad, but I told her to calm down and she didn't. <laughs> so anyway, I filled up my water bottle. <sighs> Aurora! She just went on our card table where we have a puzzle set up and put all the puzzle pieces on the floor. She is out of control. So anyway, I filled up my 4Ocean water bottle and I'm gonna try it for the first time. Let's do this. I love it, amazing. It kind of has a wide mouth. I easily spill things. Do you want to fall again? Bora, calm down. I easily spill things, so we'll see how well I'm able to drink without you know, having a drinking problem and spilling all over me. And the top is so cute too. It is wood on the top and it has their four ocean logo. I'm so excited. All right, let's go enjoy our new water bottle. We're sealed and ready to go. All right, we have the beauty of delegation. I'm so excited. One of our interns, Todd, is not only now working on our blog, on our Upcycle Design website, he is also working on our website. I'm so excited. There's all these little things that need to kind of continuously be updated, like the news articles. We've had so many news articles in the last like six months and we haven't updated them forever. And so he's gonna be updating that. He's gonna be updating our team page. We don't have Lauren on our team page yet. I mean, it is just out of control. So he's gonna be helping a ton with that he's getting ahead on blog posts we're ready to go for the new year so I'm so excited there's so much happening and this is the beauty of delegation because that frees up my you know table to do other things my table frees up my plate yeah frees up my plate to do other things so <laughs> I really appreciate the interns they've all been stepping up in different ways recently Max has been helping with the newsletter I mean I just appreciate all of them so much so huge shout out to them incredible team an incredible fam who supports each other so yeah so appreciate it. All right, super duper exciting. I'm gonna hold my arm here because if I move it, I have really, really crazy villain lighting and we don't need that. <laughs> it's just a reoccurring theme, it's villain lighting. But I'm so excited. Lauren has been working so hard on our bag prototypes and they look so cute. So it's a tote bag, it has a pocket, it has a lining, it has really, really nice straps. It is such a cute bag. And so I'm so excited for y'all to see it. Maybe I'll tease some soon. But we're not ready yet to launch them. We're still in the prototyping stages. It's been really exciting. We're at the point where we can start using them, do some user testing, see what we like, see what might need to be improved. And so I'm really, really excited. We also need to get some embroidery designs on the pockets because on the side of the tote bag that will be what our nonprofit partner program custom designs are on. So I'm really excited. I will let you know some more updates when I have more but we're at a really exciting stage of the process of prototyping. So stay tuned. Upcycle cloth bags reusable tote bags. I'm so excited. They're so cute. I mean, they could be used as purses, like beach bags, book bags. They could be used as so many different things. They're so versatile and I'm really excited for y'all to see them. So I will keep y'all updated and see what happens next. So exciting. So we had our first 
or our first, I attended my first TEDx training event. This is basically one of our training calls for TEDx Youth at Wilmington. Dan Young, who attended the Great Dame's Remarkable Idea end of year celebration when they announced that I had won, which was so incredibly cool. That event he attended and asked if I wanted to kind of be put in this pool to possibly be a TEDx speaker this next spring, at the end of spring, I think in June, for an event they're putting together based on youth. And so talking maybe more about how I started out my nonprofit when I was 10 and how I'm working on stuff now. And so we had our first training session tonight with a bunch of other youth and a bunch of their parents. A lot of them are in high school. So it was really exciting. I virtually got to meet Dan's daughter she was so nice so kind it was just so much fun being on this call and I am learning so much about public speaking about how to story tell I mean I am just so grateful that Dan is putting together these sessions because I was taking so many notes and I was like this is just so incredibly helpful for public speaking in general also for pitches like for upcycle design when I'm putting the other pitches incredibly helpful to know the different types of storytelling and how to put together a cohesive idea and so I'm learning so much I had so many ideas of how to kind of incorporate the different things that I've, I've possibly wanted to talk about in the past in a TED talk of, you know, resilience and post-traumatic growth that I experienced and also starting out young. I was 10 when I pursued my idea and it's so important to believe in yourself and also support yourself with people who believe in you. But if you don't have that support to at least believe in yourself and your ideas, I have so many thoughts and so many ideas. They're mostly based around resilience though. So I think that is definitely going to be a big big part of the talk, but I really have so many ideas. So <laughs> I was taking so many notes and listing out so many and I might email Dan and be like, hi Dan, could we like set up a time to talk more? Cause I have too many ideas. <laughs> but anyway, so we're in the process of kind of narrowing it down and then we like run them by him. And I am just learning so much. And I'm just incredibly grateful for the opportunity to possibly give a Ted talk. So fingers crossed, this journey is just gonna be so much fun no matter the outcome because I'm already learning so much. So really, appreciated that tonight I took so many good notes and yeah let's see what the next couple months have in store for us I'm really excited so this is gonna be fun all right just got off the zoom <laughs> I was gonna say just got off the phone just got off zoom with a student named Kyle from UD he wants to invent this new type of toothbrush and he wanted to ask me a bunch of questions about startups how to start a startup how to find mentors like just so many questions and they were great questions I love he came prepared with like a list of questions and it was so much fun and hopefully it was helpful he said it was helpful so I hope I was I love doing that type of like peer-to-peer -peer mentoring just because I have participated in so many things at UD that I know a lot of what they have to offer. So it was really exciting to hopefully like provide value to someone else and pass along some of those resources as well. So love doing mentoring sessions like that. So much fun, definitely gives me so much like energy and I get value from it because I feel like I'm providing value and that makes me feel good selfishly probably. But anyway, so that was a really fun meeting. It is time to continue working on my BHLP website, which is just gonna end up being my personal website. I have a meeting with my advisor later today. So I am working on that. I was kind of playing around with the design a while ago and now I'm just kind of on the content of it which is much less exciting I really like the pretty stuff but we're past that so I have to work on the content of it but I am doing something really fun I'm going back through and I'm making this publicity page which is just like all the articles or podcasts or anything that I've been on anyway so I was going back through and finding all these articles and I like googled my name and looked under news and I was finding articles I didn't even know I was in so that was hilarious like it's good to do that every once in a while because you don't know what's out there under your name <laughs> so anyways that was just a fun little thing that I've been doing so anyway yeah so we're working on this personal website and it's gonna be a good day all right let's get back to work oh my gosh just jumped off a zoom not zoom this time oh my gosh just jumped off literally phone FaceTime with my friend Maggie she is gonna be applying for a job with the diamond challenge that I forwarded to her I'm so excited hopefully fingers crossed that that works out she'll be graduating soon and so I'm trying to you know pass along as many opportunities as I can find for her because she's such a good friend and she's just such a badass woman who is just so entrepreneurial and has all these ideas and is gonna make such a cool impact in the world and so I wanna help her in any way that I can. So I was like, here's a job opportunity, <laughs> apply. So anyway, so much fun. I gotta go eat lunch. It's like four o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch yet. So let's go do that and then I'm gonna be presenting my website to my advisor. All right, let's go do this. 
All right, we have the stamp of approval. I just met with my VHLP advisor, Lauren, and she was like, I had high expectations, but you exceeded them by a mile. And I was just like, cool. <laughs> I was just like nerding out the whole meeting, showing her all the pages in my website, all of the cool features, like the parallax feature, where it almost looks like the segments are hovering, because when you scroll, the image under them scrolls. It's so cool. I will show you all when my website is done. When I'm ready to show you all, I'm so excited, but she was like, you have like a month left and you're like, it looks so good. Like you're way farther than a lot of people. So like, you're doing good. And I was like, yay. So it was just a very energizing meeting because I was so excited to show her. I was just geeking out the entire time. Be like, did you see this page? Watch when I scroll it, like something fades. It was, it was just so funny. So yeah, I hope I entertained her <laughs> with my like Zoom tour of my website. It was just so much fun. So yes. I am almost done and I'm so excited. So, all right, let's keep working on it. <laughs>